Hey everybody, Rosemater here, and welcome back to my Ubineko Let's Play. I am back after my week off. I hope you guys are excited for, oh boy, what is this, episode 68, I think? Uh, so we left off with the culmination of the first Twilight to actually see it in the real world, what happened, and shockingly, uh, Badler being one of the victims for the first time, right at the beginning. So we've got uh, everybody holed up in the guest house right now. Erica was struggling with her um, disadvantages or handicaps of not being able to use her detective's intuition or her precious duct tape. But Badler may have screwed himself over by throwing Erica a bone and giving her the precious duct tape. And with the duct tape in hand, will Erica be able to turn this around? It seems... Well, based on how we started this chapter, that she uh, she seems to have won. So it'll be interesting to see like how things are going to progress from here now that she's kind of back to her full power again. She seems pretty confident. So uh, let's get back into this. It's been a while. Let's uh, let's see what happens next. First of all, <laughs> Everyone had long since gotten used to these two overdramatic demons. George spoke quietly with an annoyed expression.君たちの試練を勝ち残り誰かが魔法の奇跡を授かる時だけだよどう簡単せ最初の試練は全員突破した次は何だもうあとには引けねえなんだってやってやるぜはい僕たちは負けまた私たちもですああもちろんバトラ
それは黄金鏡黄金鏡 I haven't heard about the Golden Land in a while. No, h a n a s t a So that the now, all gone Kyoni Tareba. Sibetano, I want me to sell it. Naga, so go a tengok ya jigok to on a stay. Kono yo narazar bashoda. Sorewa gomen comoditine. Koiwa, gain said a canaero cara imina. ボクは死後に恋愛を成就させるための悲しい心中なんて断じて認めないね生きて愛を貫く何者にも負けないジョージさん The door to the Golden Land is opened by solving the epitaph's riddle It's said to be a place where love and lives are all whole and can be revived話が脱線してる。それより第二の試練をさっさと教えてほしい。そうだぜ。寄り添いし二人を引き裂けって何をさせる気だよ。話はとても Oh, shit. All right. So it is like a battle royale right now. Sumari, Kakuzitsuni Hitokumi no Koibito Tatini, that's Rakustemoro Shiren to you, Akesa Koros to Kantan Yuga. Do Shirotem Korosia Yostemo Ishi Kuzibiki Kananika de Kimetemo Yi. くじ引きで決めるなんて冗談じゃねえぜ正々堂々と決闘しようじゃねえかそうなるとゲームマスターのバトラ君と記憶がないとはいえ黄金の魔女ベアトリーチェが相当有利な気もするんだけどね It feels yeah like you just look at them You look at Badler and Beatrice They definitely look like they've got the advantage That would be kind of lame if it was literally done by a lottery Be very anticlimactic どうでしょう安心してこの試練ではみんなの力は完全に公平にさせてもらってるんだゲームマスターのバトラ教でさえこの試練では全員と互角なのそれなら公平ですね完全に純粋に互角なのかい Well, we have to think if the、uh, if the people who die in this game are the people who die in the actual game or the game in like the real world. Badler is already dead. Beatrice isn't a player in the real world. She's not one of the family members who dies. Then I don't think it would be possible that they would die. So it,、uh, it makes me think either George or Shannon or、uh, Jessica and Cannon are going to be the next two. Eh? 完全に互角一対一なら勝敗は時の運完全に互角だからね決着にも時間がかかると思うわだから優位な状況で襲うのがコツかなとことん時間をかけての決闘ももちろん素敵誰が運任せで戦うもんか自分に有利な状況で戦いたいに決まってるぜとなると三つどもえこれでは動けないのではベータ was the first to notice If all six of them were truly on an even footing and they wanted to fight so they could win they'd have to fight as pairs and concentrate their attacks on a single person However, if they did so that person's partner would naturally join in to fight back as a pair In other words, it would never end up as two against one It would be two against two and a battle like that could go either way However, if that were to happen, the third pair watching all this could team up with whichever pair they liked with no risk to themselves, defeating the opposing pair with certainty. Mendo na hanashi da ne. Saki ni ugoku koto ga yuri dewa nai to yu wake ka. 
If you take the initiative to fight, it's a matter of luck. Isn't... I don't know much about chess, but I feel like they've said that before in this game, where uh, it actually isn't advantageous uh, to move first in chess. And there's always the connection between the chess and this game. If you sit and wait for the others to start fighting, it's certain victory. The fight would never begin in circumstances like this. Unless everyone could abandon any naive hopes for a two-on-one fight, this trial would never begin and never end. In that case, they could make a gentleman's agreement and have everyone duel at once, which would be no different from drawing lots, but at least it would be fair. Shannon's point was a sound one. If both fighters just glared at each other without attacking, then neither would lose. They would only have to wait for someone other than themselves to lose first. This brought them back to the starting point. No one would fight practically. That's gonna be the rest of this episode, is them just going through through the logistics before the actual fight starts. <laughs> We know the battler is good at puzzles. So the Tagai no Tsiosaga Michsunara Keto Mo Mushokata Demo Kanzeni Gokakto Ikirate Shimatara Ketoa Jankento Nanimo Koranai Nara is so Lokun in Zain de Janken de Kimemaska Baka ye Sona no Yadase Karini Darekaka Maketa to stay. そいつが潔く負けを認めるわけねえだろ。乱数発生期に託すような無謀ができるかと言われたら答えはノーだけれどねどうかそれを悩んでほしいそれが私たちの出題する第二の試練考えて殺し合って誰を生贄にするか決めてほしい確かに考えられん話ではない。使用人が一番怪しい。物的証拠があるわけではありませんから。Now that we know that Erica has got her beloved duct tape, I'm so excited to see what she does with it. People losing their minds in the comment, in the comments with that moment. So I, I expect big things from her. ですから。so at this point, I imagine it's been rewinded, right? Like, this was back when she was able to use the duct tape the way she wanted to. Well, except for Goda. Watashi,我到底。彼らは殺人を犯すとは思えんのだ。金蔵さんの寿命もわずかで、遺産問題で大きく揺れているそうですね。それに加え、ジュットの黄金がどこかに隠されている。なんて話もあるそうじゃないです
肩力の使用人たちは親父の手先で殺人の実行者かもな親父はどうなんだ Right? This is like, oh, right, yeah, Kinso. まだ連絡は取れないのか。うん。うん。内戦電話も通じないのと。犯人に壊されたのかもしれない。それに親父との和気源になると、電話の受話を外していることがよくある。ノックをしても、その不機嫌な返事があるだけ。連絡は取れん
In this way, all the survivors, excepting Kinzo, split into two groups and holed up in two rooms on the guest house's second floor. One group was in the cousin's room. Kraus, Rudolph, Jessica, Genji, Kanan, and Goda. Six people. One group was in the next room over. Hideyoshi, George, Shannon, Kumasawa, Nanjo, Erika. Six people here, too. Perhaps as a result of the killer's doing, the external phone line had been cut off. And they'd have to wait for the ferry boat coming the next day before they could contact the police. However, the weather report said the sea would be stormy throughout the next day because of the typhoon. When that happens, the ferry boat takes the day off, so it would probably be two days before the boat came. In other words, they were going to have to spend a full two nights holed up in here. While Erica and the others held their planning meeting in the lounge, food and blankets had been brought in to prepare for the long road ahead. The sudden tragedy had everyone on edge, but it was already well after 2 a.m. If they really suspected the servants, the observers couldn't afford to fall asleep at the same time. Either Krauss or Rudolph should probably take a nap right away. さすがだな。探偵権限がないにもかかわらず、うまく場を支配しているぜ。冷静を書いた男など、感情を剥き出しの犬と同じです。適切に扱えば。one of the benefits of the detective's authority was being able to take charge of the situation. Well, he said even without the detective's authority, but didn't he give it back to her? Or no, uh, she just... Uh, I know she was given the duct tape, but I don't think they said anything about... He did say if you want to use your detective's authority, you can. Ah... Uh. The ability was the reason Eric had been able to order a large number of adults around at will, in spite of both being an uninvited guest and a young girl. However, she didn't have that power this time, so Eric had taken charge by making good use of her natural conversation skills and techniques for controlling men. She's like, all I need is this duct tape. That's all I need. The absolute nature of the detective's authority could even act as magic. However, it didn't seem as though Erica had done nothing to earn that convenient power. I probably need to accept it, even when she isn't given any special powers by the witch she serves. She's very competent on her own. しかしエリカ。どうして2部屋に分けた?てっきり1部屋に全員を集めるとばかり思っていたぜ。探偵権限があれば since Erica was being protected as a guest, it was hard for her to move about freely. In truth, she wanted to take some time to reinvestigate the crime scenes at her leisure, without being interrupted by anyone. She'd already inspected the scenes once as she ran through the mansion, but that probably wasn't perfect. However, they wouldn't have let a guest into the crime scenes, so that had been her only option back then. She wanted some time to herself and freedom to investigate more, in part so she could check the locked rooms and causes of death more closely. The cousin's room was filled with a quiet tension. This room had six people, Kraus, Jessica, and Rudolph, and then the most suspicious ones, the male servants, Genji, Cannon, and Goda, who had been forced to hole up in here. I imagine that's going to be an awkward, this is all just very awkward. Jessica leaned against Kraus's shoulder wrapped up in a blanket. She was drowsy, but apparently couldn't get to sleep. It was no surprise. In this bizarre situation, it would probably take a lot longer before she could accept her mother's death. 
Cannon thought this was the sort of time he should stay by Jessica's side, but that looked like it would be hard for him to do in front of Rudolph's intimidating glare. Rudolph stayed completely silent, but his inner emotions showed clearly in his eyes. So without even asking, Genji, Cannon, and Gota all understood they were under suspicion. Sometimes Gota would ask if he could help in an attempt to correct this misunderstanding. But that seemed to have the opposite effect. The only good option available to him was to stay quiet so he didn't aggravate Rudolph and sit still at the end of the sofa. Very hard for him to do. Very easy for Genji. That's just... He always looks... Genji always looks like he's sleeping. <laughs> in the next room over, there were also six people. Erika, Hideyoshi, George, Shannon, Nanjo, and Kumasawa. So we got the two together. Uh, we The two lovers be together in their rooms. You got... Jessica and Cannon in the one room. You got George and Shannon in the other room. I'm sure that was not a coincidence. The format of the room and the suffocating atmosphere were the same as the cousin's room, but even so, it was relatively calm there. George sat holding Shannon, who was hanging her head despondently the whole time. Kumasawa and Nanjo sat nervously as they listened to Hideyoshi explain the situation.敵が何人いるかもわからんのや。しかし、わしらにはこうして銃がある。もちろん撃ったこともあるで。ハワイ射撃センターとちゃうで。わしな、もう時効だから白状するが、新中軍のピストルをぶっ放して、単価を切った
誰も外へ出さないでくださいこの部屋を出るあらゆる理由がないようあらゆるものを運び込んだのですから Food, drinks, blankets, medicine, towels, tissue paper, everything. Women also had their cosmetic pouches. They could spend 48 hours without being short of any physical goods. Wait, is there a bathroom in the guest bedrooms? Because、uh, if that's the case, that's going to cause a problem. <laughs> ええ。Hideyoshi suspected Shannon might be one of the culprits. Since he knew that Shannon and George had a special relationship, he apparently thought it would be prudent to mislead George about Erica's actions and motives. Oh, I, never mind. All right. Hideyoshi slowly opened the door and checked both ways down the corridor, his gun raised. ジョージさんを人質に取らないとも限りませんよ。今、こうして彼らに背中を向けているのさえ。そう、せやな。じゃあ、用心するんやで。後でわしにも話を聞かせてや。せやなじゃあ用心するんやで後でわしにも話を聞かせてやはいそれでは。Her expression had become ruthless and intelligent. With this, Erica had managed to obtain a period of several hours during which all the suspects were sealed up and she alone was free. If she's got the duct tape here, is she gonna duct tape everybody inside the rooms as well just to like have a closed off situation? フルネームで呼ぶなここで登場人物全員の所在確認をさせてください復唱要求です無論これにも答える義務はねえぜその場合は私が見てない間に部屋を抜け出しその人物が今後起こるだろう不思議な事件の実行者だと主張しきるだけです不可能犯罪を見せたいなら。まずは所在確認に応じるべきですいいだろう一応は聞いてやるぜ行ってみろバッドラー still looks pretty confident but knowing Erica how she reacted at the end of the last episode I wonder how long it's gonna be before she wipes that smug look off his face I'm not saying I'm rooting for Erica but it's nice to kind of see that she's got her vigor back she's confident again いとこ部屋に対し隣の牢場部屋をこれより隣部屋と故障しますよろしいですねわかりやすいな了解したそれで今からする所在確認は生死を問いません体の所在と考えてくださいそしてもちろん現時点でのことですでは参ります第一の番の犠牲者6人の所在は発見場所の通りである夏日は自室エバー貴賓室キリエはクラウスの書斎ローザとマリアは客まであんたは客室、oh, he's hesitating. まさかこの時点でもうこの程度のことも副賞拒否ですか
Okay. First off, it was acknowledged the victim's locations were the same as the rooms that had been shown by the witch side's illusion. The people in the room Erica had just left had been specified. It was the role of the human side to check every one of these seemingly obvious little details. Interesting, she's saying everyone else, not listing off the people's names like she did with the previous room. The word everyone drew a slight reaction from Badler. The intuition he had built up from all his previous games told him not to answer this one instantly. Ah, okay. Yeah, we're finally bringing up Kinzo in, in this, uh, this episode. There's somebody else. So there's someone else that she's not wanting to include in that everyone. I know it's pretty obvious, but I like the fact that, you know, like, when you have seen all of the previous games, you kind of understand how it works. You catch on to the little things, like, well, why would she say everybody's names, but then say everyone. Clearly, she's trying to trap him. Right, right, right. Erica, what do you have up your sleeve? Your very big puffy sleeves. As if there's like somebody hiding in that room or something that Badler is trying to I don't know. I'm trying to think of what she could be where she could be going with this. If Badler had been told to repeat Kraus, Rudolph, Jessica, Genji, Goda, and Kanan are in the cousin's room, he would probably have responded with the red without thinking too much about it. Yes, normally Erica would have mentioned the name of each person inside and had him repeat it precisely. Badler hesitated to repeat, feeling some kind of unease because of the use of the word everyone. Now we're going back to the number of people on the island. しかし、十七人いる島だから、六を引いて五を引いてさらに六を引けば、ちょうどゼロになって。所在不明の人間はゼロになるという思い込みは大変危険です。so when she says everyone else, she's like hinting that there could be somebody else that hasn't been acknowledged yet. And if he... Or hasn't been brought up, and if he acknowledges that, then he's kind of trapped. Mm. Okay, okay, so there's someone who apparently exists. It's all about names. We're coming back to the whole name thing again. みちの人物が購入する余地を許していた。そういうことです。ですから、名前だけでの所在確認は安心できないわけです。そこで私は全員という言葉を採用することにしました。この言葉はまだ私が想像もしていない。If Badler was planning a new trick like the one used for the murder of Nanjo in the third game, where the names and numbers of people would be used to create false alibis, then even naming off all 17 people and checking their positions left a trace of uncertainty behind. And if he skillfully managed to slip somebody past the names and numbers of people, たとえばですが、この島に未知のアーサツ社X が紛れ込んでいるとします。仮にその X の名をプルプルピコマルと名付けましょう。なるほどな。全員の名を挙げて所在確認をしても、プルプルピコマルとやらはその網にかからないってわ
そして17人の所在はここであるとされてもそれだけでは不十分なわけです前科もあるわけですからねしかし全員というのはあまりに範囲の広すぎる言い方です他の言い方でうまく言い直せないでしょうかいやここで全員という言葉から逃げるとエリカはそれを根拠に全ての犯人をプルプルピコマルテアラの仕業で逃れきっちまう可能性があるかつての俺もお前との戦いで未知の18人目 X だけを根拠に全員という言葉の重みよーく考えてお返事くださいねエリカは、full but evil smile、confident she had made a power move。Players on the witch side must eradicate all possibilities that would be possible for humans. If I don't crush any chance for this ridiculously named Puro Puro Pico man right now, he'll be used to explain everything the witch does. That was a move I liked to use in my old games with Beato. Back at the very beginning of the fight, my counterattacks were all based on an unknown 19th person axe. Because of that, it had been necessary for Beato to restrict the number of people on the island and eliminate any unknown person hiding somewhere. In that case, this time is the same. So, just like Beato did, I need to get rid of any leeway in which that X can exist. The number of people on the island has already been declared, but since she's suspecting tricks involving the names and number of people, saying the same thing again won't satisfy her. In that case, I have no choice but to respond to her repetition request and use the word everyone. That word has a disturbing ring to it, and though I haven't figured it out yet, It feels like there's some kind of demonic killer move hidden within it. Is this where Erica's gonna start to make her come back? Damn, after insulting Beato so much and saying the witch side had a huge advantage, I'm feeling this much pressure from just a single repetition request. Distraction. Yes. Chess Yogo. Yes. The Kinokoma is a very good one. The Kinokoma is a very good one. 敵陣形を自らに崩させる手法のことです全員というあまりに広域で強力な駒に私は移動を強いているわけですバトラさんにとってはこれによって生存者全員のアリバイが完全に保証され以後の不可能犯罪を私に言い逃れさせないことが可能となるでしょう。何を恐れますあなたにとって強力な一手じゃありませんかしかしそれはお前が強いた上での手だお前はそれによって俺の何かの陣形を崩そうとしているどんな妙手も相手に望まれたならそれは握手に同じですしかしここで全員という言葉を避けることも難しい The red truth can cut the weak reasoning of the human side apart over and over. In the past, I feared its ruthlessness. However, I quickly learned it could be used as a basis for a counter attack. Akaki Shinjitsuna Denka no Hotoka Beato no Kimotsi Ima wa itai krai ni wakare. It can kill with ease, but it's not something to be used with abandon. Using it carelessly can corner the witch side instead. No, Shimasu. でも結構ですよいや分かった認める、oh, okay. それ以外の全員がいとこ部屋にいることを認めるグッドありがとうございますバトラさん実に美しくバッサリです Oh and she's just mocking him just like you did such a good job good job doing exactly what I wanted you to do <sighs> 困りましたこの状況で魔女からの手紙が現れたりなんかしたら一体誰を疑えばいいのやら She said she was in trouble, but her face didn't look troubled at all. On the contrary, she looked as though she had just succeeded in making a very important foundational move. In the witch's game, even a single mistaken move is fatal. In both chess and shoji, you can't take. or shogi? You can't take back a move once you've made it. That last exchange had left a bad aftertaste, as though flesh had been torn and bones broken. Game 
ドラノールはいエリカ卿それでは早速始めましょう慈悲深いゲームマスター様がくださった権利をはい心得ておりますガートルードコーネリア3部屋許された権利のうちの2部屋分を行使しますキンケ了解する者なりやいとこ部屋と隣部屋を封印これで犠牲者以外の全員を封じました、right. like、right、これ以降何が起こっても封印の中の人間たちは問題となりませんフィーン。They'd have to happen inside the room, so they'd have to happen between people who are actually inside the room. So, this is interesting. When the fight concerned these two sealed rooms from now on, Delanor would be able to use that merciless, merciless blade, the Red Key. His overwhelming power could slice even the Game Master in half. For a while, Eric and Delanor grinned at each other, entranced by the ruthless red light that was burned into their eyes. 定石補佐官、慎んでお尋ね立てまつる。何か人間側プレイヤーは魔女の出題を人間の仕業で読み解くのが戦い方と知るものなりやあなたにそう言いなしなればなぜにエリカ教と上司ドラノールは犯行の余地ある人間を自ら減らすように戦うなりやコーネリアスクエスチョン was very simple These two had made this move boldly, treated it like a powerful one. So it almost made it seem as though this move would greatly damage the witch. However, if you thought about it, Erika was just strangling her own neck. Oh, Erika, she's doing this for a reason. She's thinking five steps ahead. 今日も上司主席もそれを明かす段階にないと知りたてまつる<笑>死後陳謝するものなりコーネリア looked like she wasn't satisfied in the previous game in order to help Kinzo escape from his study Badler had made desperate efforts to crush his locked room using a variety of methods as a result Kinzo had escaped into the darkness of the night And it had later been possible to treat him like an elusive phantom. In other words, locked rooms were advantageous to witches and disadvantageous to humans. Witches proposed locked rooms, and humans destroyed and denied them. It's a good point! Erica's making her own locked rooms, and it's gonna be harder to say that there isn't some human sneaking around committing the crimes rather than a witch. But, like I said, I'm sure there's a reason she's doing this.、And、those were meant to be the standard tactics of this game. And yet, Erica had created locked rooms herself and sealed a full 11 people in them. In other words, this was the same as abandoning the right to use those 11 people when explaining all the later tricks. Badler had once again sought to confirm the locations of certain people, but that had been to check whether certain pieces existed with which he could break locked rooms in a completely different situation. Why had Erica taken these eleven people, who were supposed to be her pieces, and sealed them in a locked room? Cornelia didn't have enough experience out on the field to understand this move, which only looked as though they were trapping themselves. キングの守りを固めておくのだって立派な戦略だつまりこの二部屋の封印は攻めでなく守りだとそう考えるのが妥当だろうぜ
おかげで生存者たちにちょっかいが出しづらくなった第二の番が実行しにくくなったってわけだああなるほど魔女側は謎を多く提示した方が有利そうだ何しろ一つでも謎が通れば魔女の勝ちなんだからな多くの密室を提示した方が有利に戦える The mysteries that the witch side set up are equivalent to attacks. The human side must perfectly intercept all of those. It's almost like a penalty kick face off, where conceding a single goal means defeat. So the witch side wants to increase its number of attacks. The human side wants to lower the number of attacks. When Valor had fought on the human side, he hadn't thought of the survivors holding up in a room as being particularly useful. However, from the witch's side perspective, this strategy was simple but effective. What made Beato incredible was the way she'd bluffed and sneered at that as though it was useless. On the inside, she must have been very worried about how to break down all those barricades in each game. Right now, I'm sure of that. あれだけ自信満々に強打するほどの一手じゃない。Would Erica be happy after playing a defensive move? Though this move looked as though she's restraining herself, it's also extremely unlikely that Erica, of all people, played a defensive move. これはきっと守りじゃなく攻めなんだ。That's the face of someone who's like, I may have fucked up. <laughs> I may have went, walked right into her trap. The fact that she manipulated him to allow her those seals, and that she played him to acknowledge something that it's like he knew deep down that she was trapping him to making a move, and he did it anyway. It's pretty crazy. ダイニノバンを防ぐためのマモリにテバンを費やした。おさばひけ、ヒカバを押せだ。ならこっちは、せめて行くしかない。しかし、どう攻めればいいやら、ゲストハウスはかなりのマモリになっています。そうだな。
プール授業の後の自由時間みたいにワクワクしています。Now that Berncastel was nowhere in sight, Erica was regaining her high spirits. She wasn't exaggerating when she said she could spread her wings. Delinor knew she was staking her own destruction on this game, and she was not in a favorable position by any means. Delinor could do nothing but assist Erica so she could fight to the best of her abilities. Yes, guest house is a good place to be. Before leaving the guest house, Erica did a check of the first floor, making sure nothing was out of place. Then she found a flashlight and umbrella in the servant room next to the entrance. She unset the chain, unlocked the door, and opened it. The freezing outside air poured in. When Erica dropped her gaze to open her umbrella, she noticed something lying at her feet. Envelope, right? Yep. This is my letter. It was one of those letters sent by the witch with the seal of the one winged eagle on it. It had been wedged outside,、uh, under the outside mat in front of the entrance, as though someone had predicted that Erica would eventually come this way while heading for the mansion. Due to the guest house's large eaves, the envelope had avoided the rain entirely. <laughs> She bent over and picked it up. She then tore it open recklessly and pulled the letter inside out of it. A message had been written in neat handwriting. Oh, now we got moving corpses. Erica shrugged and scorned the letter. However, this letter was a real attack. All the survivors were sealed in their rooms on the second floor, and after Kraus and the others had gone around checking doors and windows, Erica had personally made sure there was nothing at this spot. So, this was an attack saying someone who shouldn't exist had placed the letter, and this someone was a witch. Well, this was after、uh, Badler confirmed that everybody was in those two rooms, so. That was also an attack the old Beato had often used. あれあれ見せ方も同じなら取りックまで同じだって言うんじゃないでしょうねドラノールバトラを呼び出してくださいドラノールバトラ卿東方の手番を所望です了解ですバトラ卿東方の手番を所望です申し訳ありません実は Oh, is she gonna be like, I apologize for pretending like I needed your help? Thank you for giving me that duct tape. Apologize. Beato, or Badler and Beato's eyes went wide. However, though Erica said she wanted to apologize, she had a confident look on her face, as though even that apology would be a new move. So Badler glared at her dubiously without letting his guard down. Oh! So she's already used her three seals. Oh shit, did she seal up Badler's room? The get the he was in the guest room, right? So it would be impossible for his body to have been moved without breaking the seal? 
Ooh, so it's like she predicted this was gonna happen. If that's the case, then she truly did make a perfect locked room. Badler said he made a perfect locked room, but she truly did. Oh shit. Like I said, she, she's totally thinking five steps ahead. She knew that somehow Badler was going to do something to the room his body was in. And she went back and she sealed it up. Right? Like, that's got to be what she's implying. どこを封印していたって。ドラノール。ご報告申し上げます。エリカ教によるしたい。ああ、イエス。バトラの客室を封印しておりましたことを報告申し上げます。ああ、イエス。ああ、イエス。ああ、イエス。ああ、イエス。
He had placed the letter about the disappearance of his own corpse at the entrance to the guest house, and then he had gone into hiding. If this was the truth, then the seals that had been placed on Butler's guest room at the time of Erica's examination were now very significant. Okay, I see. I see, I see. So, like, yeah, he, the seal would be broken. The seal would be broken if he got out and placed... Oh my gosh, if he'd placed the letter there. And he'd be the only one who could bust, uh, who bust the seal. Damn. In short, if he'd used this trick, then Badler would have broken the seals when he left his guest room. Damn, the trick would not be workable without breaking the seals. Since the survivors were all sealed in the guest house, breaking the seal on the guest room would mean acknowledging that at least one of the victims was actually alive. Damn! If Badler had known about the seals earlier, it was likely he would have advanced the game in a very different way to avoid this. In other words, it was very likely that an announcement about the seals would have had a large effect on the rest of Balor's game. So that was Erica's whole thing, confirming that everybody was in those two sealed rooms. That was not a defense. That was an attack, because she's confirming that Badler could be the only other person, could be the only possible person who could be walking around right now. Wow. Erica was saying, if Badler, playing the part of a corpse, had remained inside the guest room to avoid breaking the seals, then perhaps the plot would not have included this letter. The truth was that Badler was actually alive and had placed the letter there. Then, now that Erica's seals had come into play, there was a chance he would find a contradiction in his trick somewhere down the line. That sort of contradiction is called a logic error. Logic error? In this case, I heard the story of the first part of the story. The story of the story is not the only one. The biggest mistake is the biggest mistake. Ah, I remember the story of the story of the story. The story of the story of the story. とか言ってたわね伏せたカップの中に飴玉が現れる魔法の話を覚えているかええマリアお姉ちゃんとエリカがそれをめぐって論争したわねあれはお姉ちゃんが目を閉じている間にカップの中にこっそり飴玉を入れるだけの単純な手品だったそうだその手品の過程を観測していないマリアに結果のみが与えられ魔法でカップの中に飴玉が現れたとする魔法元素を受け入れたから魔法が成立したそうかロジックエラーとは不可能になってしまった手品という意味ねwas really the opening battle of this tale. Let's try to remember that exchange. The heartless conclusion was that it had all been a trick. Making the candy appear in the cup by magic had been nothing more than Beato's claim. Magic can only do things that one can accomplish. In other words, the only results that magic can leave behind are those that can be accomplished without magic. Allow me to say it straight out. There are two general types of magic. If you summon giants and make towers grow from the ground. But when the lid is taken off, nothing has happened in the Rose Garden. That's one type of magic. This is just a fantasy, an illusion. It is a lie with no observers, taking place only where there's absolutely no anti-magic toxin, to use the words of a witch. Magic that doesn't have to produce a result is the easiest kind, and it's a lie. It's the same as a worthless delusion, a fantasy, a daydream. Even Badler saw through it partway through the third game. Then, there was another kind, which we might call true magic. Magic with results. The cup trick is an example of magic with results, because the observer checks and actually confirms the cup is empty. A candy does appear inside the cup, and the observer is actually able to obtain that candy. I've noticed that, unlike the magic of illusions, magic with results must follow one big rule. The rule is that only the unobserved process of what, you can, of what you accomplished can be transformed into magic. I'll say it even more plainly and ruthlessly. In short, all, uh, all forms of magic are tricks. The only results of magic are things that can be accomplished without magic. 
Ironically, this also proves that magic doesn't exist. But out of respect for the witch's game, let's call it making the game solvable and fair for the human player. So that's something that's really been drilled in is that um, magic is something that the person could do, like uh, things that could be accomplished without magic as well. つまり、カップの中の飴玉が今回はエリカの前に現れた謎の手紙ということになっている。これは手品でなくてはならない。それをお兄ちゃんは魔女が魔法で手紙をそこに置いたと主張することで結果を伴う魔法にしようとしている。
Like, how are the f how are the Twilights going to go now? Now that Erica seems to have made a pretty decisive uh, move here, that's really like backed Badler into a corner. トリックで不可能だったら人間側は打つ手なしのステイルメイトいいやちがそれこそがロジックエラーと呼ぶ致命的かつ最悪の反則手だこれを魔女側が犯した場合即座にゲームは破壊され致命的敗北となるお兄
他の内容にシナリオ変更していただいても結構ということですただ手紙とガムテープがあるだけで古戸エリカにはこの程度の一手が可能ですいかがです皆様方 Damn, what a dirty move. Well, what else should I expect from Erica? And I also made a promise with Delinor to play an all out merciless game. Yeah, it's true. I had been planning to make Badler actually be alive, and then to have him slip out of the guest room, resulting in his disappearance and the placement of the letter. However, if I revise the scenario now that my move's been spotted, it'll be the same as admitting that it was spotted. Even if I have to be stubborn about it, I don't want to admit I was seen through here. I don't want to acknowledge a pathetic plot change where I try to sneak out of the guest room and end up breaking the seal. I want to change over to a different trick, so the letter will be placed and my corpse will be hidden, while still preserving the seals on the guest room. It doesn't really have to be me who places that letter. I can still revise the logic without contradictions. ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、
Radler could put off deciding whether the seals would remain intact or not until that moment right before Erica witnessed them. However, once she did witness them, the Game Master would have to show what had happened to them. In the Witch's game they were in now, the simple act of going to check the seals around the guest room was an attack. The piece Erica held high in the air was the White Queen, which represented herself. Her target was Badler's territory. She cut straight in. Erica dashed down the hallway with a sickening smile and clung to the guest room door like a spider. Then she closely examined the seals she had placed retroactively. いや、よろしいのですか、バトラさん。ああ、ここでは引けない。俺が封じられても。手紙を置く方法はあるんだからな。しかし、今からエリカは客室に踏み入るでしょう。そしてバトラさんの遺体の存在を観測します。どうする uh, maybe Badler has a bunch of small bombs placed inside the room, so when she opens it up, explosion, and then he can slip away. <laughs> a けね。受けきる。逃れる手なんて。後から行くらでもこじつけられる。俺は全開。それを金蔵の書斎でやりきっている。大丈夫だ。行ける。行ける。来い。エリカ。客室の完全な雰囲気を確認します。Undamaged, okay. What if she goes in and his body's not there, just to really confuse her? Erica destroyed the duct tape seal on the door in ecstasy, and now that she's given permission to use her detective's authority, she can confirm for sure whether or not he's dead or not. It looked as though the intellectual rapist had finally laid her true nature bare. <laughs> Like a ruffian pushing down a weak girl, Erica mercilessly and greedily threw the door open. And finally, the inside of Badler's guest room was observed by Erica. Badler had to show it. Was there a corpse, or wasn't there? Adler grabbed a black piece from the board and raised it high. That piece. Beato had no memories of the time she'd been an expert at this game. And yet, for some reason, she realized that this was a move from which there would be no coming back. Once a piece was moved, it couldn't be taken back. The guest room was covered by a silent darkness. It was pitch black and nothing could be seen. However, there was a light switch just off to the side of the entrance. If that was pressed, the room would be lit up and everyone would see whether or not there was a corpse on the bed. 
いいえちょっとだけ待ってくださいバトラさん提案です聞こうもうお分かりと思いますが今回の私は犯人は誰かという王道的な勝利を目指していません私の敵は駒殺しの犯人程度ではなく対戦相手であるあなた自身なのですから分かってる狙いはロジックエラーか<笑>今は激しく後悔しているお前が惨めそうなふりをしていたら<笑>騙されて<笑>おかしな権利を許しちまったことをなあなたのおごりです高い支払いをすることとなりますくそ,それでそちらの提案とは何ですか ?The firm voice Beto urged her to continue until just a second ago she had remained behind Badler's back a bit flustered however she was steady now she saw Badler had let his emotions take control and had been lured into making a bad move and realized it was time for her to stay cool and support him Erica's proposal couldn't be anything good, and on top of that, Erica was sly. She probably wouldn't make a proposal that would be easily rejected, or something that wouldn't benefit her in some way. Oh, she's like, you have a chance, you can rectify, like, you can change this if you want to. カラブリに終わるだけですもちろんでは誰が手紙を置いたのかという論点に戦いは映るでしょうがとりあえず戦いの場はこの密室を脱しますもし消失していたらベート a already knew she knew the move that Badler had made a second ago Badler had already disappeared from this room therefore they'd need to prepare a different disappearing trick One other than he was actually alive and left through the door. The situation is simple. First, this room is a locked room. Also, Badler's life or death status had not been confirmed. In other words, it would pose no problem if he was alive. Under these conditions, they had to make Erica think Badler disappeared. He could escape from the room, or if that's impossible, he could hide somehow and wait for her to leave, making her think he disappeared. エンドゲーム爪将棋が始まりますほんの数手で決着するでしょう Are we coming to the end? That would be wild if we managed to finish this like if this game finished without Badler even getting to the second twilight <laughs> あなたはこの部屋からバトラを脱出できるロジックを構築できず物語を破綻させゲームオーバーになりますそれを避けるべく戦うのがこちらの仕事ですそれで提案というのはロジックエラーをめぐるエンドゲームではより精密さを増した戦いをすべきですまた私たちは赤と青の真実でこれから攻防を行うわけですがその赤き真実によってロジックエラーを起こさないかゲームマスターと同格の審判が監視する必要が出てきますど道理ですこれは何も特別なことではありませんかつてのあなたがゲームマスターだった時もあなたの後見人であるラムダ・デルタ教によってそれは監視されていましたその結果赤き真実が全て有効であると判断されていたのです俺たちの手の内をラムダ・デルタに見せろっていうのか最初から見てるわよ大丈夫安心して。ジャッジメントについては公平だからそそれを赤き真実で語れますかええジャッジメントの公平を誓うわ前回のゲームでも私十分公平だったつもりよどっちに転んでも面白い裁判では特にね受けなさいバトラエリカはあんたを詰めるわわかるこの部屋であんたと決闘して殺すということよ男なら決闘を受けなさい
Once again, he's just being backed into a corner. He doesn't really have much choice, does he? All because he had to give Erica that damn duct tape. Lambda Delta understood what Badler had up his sleeve, and she confirmed that Erica's first move had indeed got straight through his heart. Just as Erica had guessed, Badler was alive, and after Erica had examined his corpse, he had slipped out of the room, placed the letter by the guest house, and hid himself somewhere. Once the duct tape seals were retroactively placed on the guest room, he suddenly became required to show that they had been torn. However, if he had done that, it would have been the same as admitting he had been seen through and that he had lost. Unwilling to admit that, Badler had claimed the seals had been preserved with false courage, so this is exactly what Erica was expecting him to do. She knew he wasn't going to just admit it, and so she now, yeah, she's like quartered him into a logic error. He's now rushing to revise his logic. True, he could, he could still escape for a few moves. However, Erica was planning to corner and kill him here. Badler. あんたすごいカードで戦ってるのね。カード。お前にはこのチェスがトランプに見えるのか。私にはあんたたちが it needs a miracle. <laughs> but based on how this chapter started, I don't think he gets it. <laughs> I mean, she kind of already did be like, you are fucked, <laughs> essentially. エリカを降ろせる気でいるのね。降りないわよ、by hoping for a card change. She meant relying on luck and hoping that, even though he couldn't think of anything now, he might later be able to think of a good plan for how to make this locked room trick hold up. Badler, if you start this battle without a trick up your sleeve, you're marching to your death. If you ever plan to back down, it has to be now. When Erica presses the light switch, you just have to be lying on the bed. That's all there is to it. Lambda, what are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about, but it's too long. The Shinpan is not going to be able to do it. That's right. Well, try it, Batra. I'm trying to be a serious fight. What you're doing is not a poker, right? What are you talking about? ああ、いいぜ。いつでも分かりをつけろ。あなたを保護するルールです。あなたはこれから、ヘリクツの限りを尽くして、この部屋のトリックの最高地区を行うわ。つまり、戦いの途中で良いアイデアが思いつく可能性もあるということ。本来、筋書きを途中で変更するのは
<laughs> Agreed. Simple na hanashi sa bosok seijika no helikts gatsen to onaji ってことだろ。シャーシャーと嘘をついて、それをカンパされる証拠を出されたら、それに矛盾しないように、それまでの嘘を記憶違いでしたとシャーシャーと撤回して、新しい嘘に変更する。嘘と、それを破る証拠と、それを逃げる嘘と、そういう。互いの尻尾を飲み込もうとぐるぐる回るくっと要するに後出しのヘリクツがいくらでも許される世界と考えてください私もこの部屋の封印の件でそれを奉仕しましただからあなたも行使できるようにするのがフェアなことだと思いまして<笑>よくもシャーシャーと言えるものですオーケーでは双方始めなさい初手はエリカからでしょい,いえベッドの掛け金の確認からそうねベッドのバトラの確認からだわエリカ始めなさいお任せを我が主ナイトオン All right, guys, so that will do it for this episode. Sorry to leave it on a cliffhanger, but、uh, things are getting intense now. It's really getting into the logic battles, and、uh, oh man, oh man, Badler. When you guys said that Badler effed up by giving Erica those、uh, seals, you were not kidding. Just masterfully done the way that she predicted exactly what Badler was going to do and planned for it and has basically backed him into a corner. So, I'm not sure how much of this chapter is left, but it would be kind of hilarious if Adler was not even like he had this whole game planned out and Erica just trounced him so soundly that he's not able, even able to like finish the game. He's not even able to do the second Twilight. And this also、uh, begs the question of what's going to happen with the love trial.、Uh, with this happening, Are we gonna have just like, is it gonna be inconclusive? Is Erica Erica's gonna be the winner like at the beginning when she was like married, quote unquote, to Adler? So, overall, this was,、uh, this was really fun.、Uh, this was a great part of the chapter to like, come back to after being away for、uh, my vacation. And now I'm just reinvigorated and like, so excited to see how this battle is going to go between Erica and Badler. So,、uh, let's find out what happens next week. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Until then, bye. Special shout outs to my top tier patrons Nana, Kaori Makoto, Revealing Storm. Tequila Mockingbird, Jared Fan, Izzy Ibo, Asborn Kennedy, Harry Gazip, Icognito, Locus Corollas, Mad Goldsmith, Wu Sing Chrysalis, and Lumi Arclight.